Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be doing my final part of my circuit board manufacturing series. So in this part, and I'm going to take my components, I'm going to solder them on to this circuit board that I manufactured, and I'm going to show you how to make this. In the previous part, I etched this circuit board inside a ferret chloride solution. So, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tin all the little copper pads on this. This will allow me to solder the different components on. Now, if I didn't say this before, what I'm doing here for this uh, project is I am going to use surface mount soldering to do this. Now, surface mount soldering is when you use is when you just solder on the surface. It's when you don't actually do through hole soldering like you see on many circuit boards. Uh, I'm choosing to use uh, surface mount soldering because it seems to be easier for beginners. So now, after I have all my uh, leads tinned, <clears throat> I'm going to start soldering the pieces on. So what you do is you take it and you lay the piece on, and you heat up the lead, and the solder underneath it melts immediately, which, after that, makes it stay on. And so this piece is on. I'm just going to solder the other four leads, and this inductor will be permanently on the board. And so now, after you have put a few components on there, you can start putting the smaller components on. So if I take this resistor and I solder it in place, and then I can bend down this lead. Now resistors are a little bit tricky when you put them in, because they have, they have to be standing up if they're in a special place. So I'm going to tilt the resistor and solder it in down here. And there we go. The resistor is soldered in place. Now the best way to insert components like transistors is to bend the leads kind of like this so it forms a little uh, a little lip so that way when you set it on it won't move anywhere. So everything here is soldered in place. The LED is soldered to these pads. The inductor transformer is soldered to these pads. Everything is soldered in place. Now one thing I'm going to note that this trace right here kind of dissolved in the copper because I didn't uh, do a double coating of that with the uh, Sharpie. And so what I had to do here is I had to take a resistor lead and I had to bring it over here to cover the spot where the lead used to be and this works just fine. So I'm jumping over the leads that were broken. So now to test it out. So to test this out I'm going to set my bench power supply to uh, about 1.2 volts which is just about the the voltage of a dead AA battery so uh, maybe 1.27 I'm going to come down here and connect it to my Jewel Thief circuit and we'll see what it does so I'm going to connect the negative lead to this pad right here which is what was negative and the positive lead to this pad and it lights up you can see if I turn off the light it's extremely bright especially for 1.2 volts. This uh, Jewel Thief circuit is working very well. This is the completed Jewel Thief setup made on this uh, manufactured board. It um, runs off 1.2 volts and it lights up this LED super bright. And that and this board looks very professional. So I can turn down the voltage and the point when the light actually turns off it's about point uh point six nine no point four seven volts so this light actually turns off at point four seven volts which is hardly any and it only draws point zero zero two which is only two milliamps which is hardly anything even when i have it going at full brightness at one point two volts it only is drawing eleven milliamps now when I attach this to a AA battery pack that contains a uh, dead AA, it becomes super bright. Now this is running off just one AA. Another interesting thing to note about this um, Jewel Thief circuit is that when it's connected to my oscilloscope, it produces this wave pattern, which is the oscillations at which it's oscillating to boost the voltage of the, the power supply or the battery to power the LED. So as you can see, 
This is a very professional looking circuit board. The LED lights up fine. So, as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.